Have no clue what to ask for Christmas, your birthday, or other special occasions? Maybe you have a writer or self-publisher in your life and you're coming up blank when it comes to what to get them. Well, today I'm going to share with you 10 gifts for authors, writers, and self-publishers. Now, there's no way I could have effectively ranked these in order of importance, so instead I decided to rank them in order based on where in the writing and self-publishing process they fall. Also, I'm not going to bother stating the prices of each product because, well, Honestly, prices change. I will, however, include a link to each of these products in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. Now with that, let's get started. Number one is Masterclass. Regardless of what type of writing you're doing, chances are there's a Masterclass for that genre. Whether you're writing for young audiences, mystery, thrillers, poetry, screenplays, short stories, comedies, or even writing for television, there's an expert in that genre with a Masterclass. Now if you're still on the fence about getting it, right now Masterclass is offering two memberships for the price of one, so it doesn't hurt to at least go check it out. Number two, Publisher Rocket. Now, if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you had to have known that Publisher Rocket would, in some way, shape, or form, end up on this list. The only question is where. Now, obviously, it's designed for helping you find profitable keywords, as well as categories, and even keywords for Amazon ads. So, I could have put it further down in the list. The reason I put it here at the beginning is because one of the most underutilized uses for Publisher Rocket is to help you find profitable niches. So, if you're drawing a blank as to what type of book to create, or what niche or niches you should look into, Publisher Rocket is an amazing tool for helping those gems really stand out. Number three, Affinity Publisher and Designer. Okay, so I'm cheating a little bit in listing two products here, but heck, it's my list after all, so I can do whatever I want. Anyway, Affinity Publisher is a software for you to actually write and lay out your book in. While most of my videos, I focus a great deal on using PowerPoint, that's solely due to familiarity. But as we all know, PowerPoint is made for creating presentations and is not designed for creating books. Affinity Publisher, however, is. You no longer have to worry about remembering that the first page is actually going to be on the right. Things like that. Affinity Publisher shows you first. I've only been using it for a short while, but I would highly recommend this whether you're writing books or creating no content or low content books. Affinity Designer is a great affordable alternative to Photoshop. Designer can be used to create covers, interior images, or like guest Kevin McGuire showed us in a recent video, you can use it to take an image from your book and turn it into a t-shirt design. Number four, puzzle book mastery, kids book mastery, and activity book mastery. If you're interested in creating adult or kid puzzle books or activity books, then you definitely want to take a look at these book mastery systems. Each system makes a great gift for self-publishers who are focusing on puzzle books. If you're interested in creating adult puzzle books, like Sudoku, word searches, word scrambles, cryptograms, things like that, then Puzzle Book Mastery would be a great gift for you. Now, if you're more interested in creating books for school-age kids, then perhaps Kids Puzzle Book Mastery may be the perfect present for you. And if you'd like to jump into creating activity books like Tic-Tac-Toe, Hangman, and even Dot to Dots, then Activity Book Mastery may be exactly what you're looking for. Number five, Simply Maze Crazy and Mandala Crazy. There's no way I'd be able to talk about no content and low content books without bringing up maze books. With the excessive amount of time people are spending at home these days, mazes and other puzzle books have become more of a necessity than ever before. Something fun yet challenging to help keep our brains sharp and break up the monotony that we may be facing. Simply Maze Crazy allows you to create mazes for kids or adults by simply moving the complexity slider. Mandala Crazy takes the complexity of creating mandalas and makes them user-friendly and, believe it or not, actually fun to make. Number six, Grammarly and Pro Writing Aid. Okay, so you've gotten your masterpiece written, and it's time to go through your first or second round of self-edits. Grammarly and Pro Writing Aid both provide you with the grammar and spelling checking features that can help you elevate your writing to the next level. Both you and your future editor will thank you for checking them out. Now, while the features they offer and extensiveness of their checks differ depending on which plan you have, both of them do offer free versions, so at least go check those out. Number seven, deposit photos credits. Whether you're creating no content or low content books, or perhaps you just prefer to create your own book covers. While places like Pixabay are super helpful and tag at my heartstrings, okay, wallet, for being free, the truth is, because those images are free, they're extremely prevalent in the marketplace. And if you really want to make your content stand out in a good way, then you'll most likely need to purchase your stock images. And you're gonna wanna do that from a reputable place. I've been using deposit photos for years and absolutely love not only the wide array of images that they have, but you can even filter on best match, most popular, and my favorite, what they call fresh, which means newest images that match your search. 
This is my favorite filter because since the images are newer, chances are they're less frequently used, which means my book will stand out even more. Number eight, book brush. Writing and self-publishing your book is only part of the work. The next part is many authors' least favorite part, marketing and promotion. Now, many authors refer to book brush as Canva specifically for authors, but book brush is a whole lot more than that. Now don't get me wrong, I love Canva and I use it for many things including creating thumbnails for videos just like this. But when it comes to creating marketing and promotional ads, I strictly work with BookBrush. Because it's made for authors, there are no extraneous elements that just don't pertain to you. Plus, BookBrush offers features like background removal, templates for creating covers for ebook and print book, stamps that you can add like available on Amazon, etc. You can even create an image of a box set to use for your book ads. BookBrush is my one-stop shop for making book marketing materials. Number nine, Book Award Pro. Speaking of book marketing promotion, what better way to make your book really stand out than by winning a few book awards? Now, I've met thousands of people who get enthusiastic about books, but Hannah and her team are the only people I know that actually get excited about book awards. More importantly, about finding book awards for you. Now, they don't just find book awards that exist, but by learning a little bit about you and your book, they tailor the book award findings to you and your book specifically. Which awards are a good fit for your book? Which ones do you have the best chance of winning? Heck, with one of their plans, they'll even submit your book's entry into a award you have the best chance of winning, and they'll pay the entry fee. The best part? Just by applying for an award, you can promote yourself and your book as award nominated. You can promote that on social media, your website, as well as any other places that your potential audience may be. Now, before I get to my number 10 great gifts for writers, let me know down in the comments if you have an idea for a great gift for authors or self-publishers that I might not have mentioned. Also, if you're liking this list, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification so you get alerted every time I put out a new video. Now, my number 10 is Fiverr credits. I saved this one for last because there are countless possibilities of Fiverr gigs that could help an author or other self-publisher out. Cover design, ghostwriting, illustrations, interior formatting, proofreading, logo creation. These are just a few of the author-centric gigs that are offered up on Fiverr. Heck, you can even dictate your book and hire someone on Fiverr to transcribe it for you. So technically, you don't even have to write it. Now be sure when you're planning on working with any new freelancer, just like you would when working with someone in person, ask around for recommendations. Feel free to check out my Facebook group, Self Publishing Today, or you can ask right here down in the comments. Just try to avoid dropping links because YouTube has a tendency to block comments that include links. Well, there you have it, 10 great gifts for authors. So now that you know what to ask for Christmas, your birthday, or any other holiday, the real question is, what are you gonna do with all this free time you have now? How about sitting back and watching some more videos? Like this playlist right here, where I introduce you to Amazon's new platform, Amazon Ignite. Or perhaps this video right here will help you out even more. I'll catch you in one of those videos, and remember to write right.